The overall goal of this procedure is to dissociate cardiomyocytes derived from human pluripotent stem cells and plate them on multi-electrode arrays to measure and quantify the duration and the frequency of their typical electrical signal, also called field potential. This method can help answer key questions in the cardiac stem cell field, such as what are the electrophysiological differences between cardiomyocytes carrying ion channel mutations and wild type controls? The main advantage of this technique is that it allows drug screening on human cardiomyocytes derived from patient cells. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the dissociation and plating steps are essential for successful electrical signal recording. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because the identification of good or bad quality electrical signals is not trivial and the analysis of field potential requires experience. To begin this procedure, place the clean chips in a standard 10 cm diameter plastic sterile petri dish. Next, Add 8 milliliters of sterile distilled water to the petri dish to form a humidified chamber, which will prevent the small volume of culture medium on the chip from drying when placed in the incubator. Then, use custom-made polytetrafluoroethylene rings to ensure plating of the cardiomyocytes in the center of the chip where the electrode array is located. In the culture hood, remove the rings from the ethanol. Place them in a sterile petri dish without a lid and allow the rings to dry in the hood.